welcome again. Most of the times user demands plain, simple and minimalistic design. Today I thought, let's create one. You just need to imagine how the content can be broken down and displayed on the slide. Once you have identified what is important to show then it becomes easy to create one. Insert rectangle, remove outline and place on the left as you can see on the screen. Duplicate and move to the right and make it like a square to be placed at the top right. Once it is placed, let's add one image at the center. I am gonna use the stock image from the inbuilt stock repository of Office 365, so here is the image. I have picked a random image, but it looks beautiful. Now let's adjust the image to fit at the center. You can use crop option to crop it from all sides. Once it is all set, then adjust the right rectangle. After that it is time to add the colors. Now it depends upon the color scheme of your presentation deck. For this tutorial let's follow a vibrant color. In the final output I will share different color options at the end. Therefore, watch till the end. Use color wheel to select the desired color scheme. Use Format Painter to fill the color on other components as well. Now let's format the image to make it look more like a grayscale. I think this should look fine. Well it is up to you if you want to change the image color. Here you can find so many amazing filters for the image. Well, not like Instagram but manageable. Pick the one you like and here you go. Isn't it nice? Meanwhile you can also press the subscribe button to regularly get the updates. Now comes the text part. Text styling is important as well as interesting. Identify the most important messaging that you want to highlight. Focus on key numbers or facts. Use multiple font sizes but make sure consistency is there. Showcase what you want users to see and understand. No one will read the content. As nowadays, users just scan the content. It is about time. Here you will see how I am gonna integrate text and shapes to fill information in this template. The process is simple. Insert text box, select placement, adjust size, insert text, select font, font size, and color. That's it. Just watch this beautiful creation for next couple of minutes. Here you can add call to action in the form of a button to the respective slide or a link. By employing effective text styling techniques, we can enhance the visual appeal of our slides and make key information stand out. Bold and italic formatting can help emphasize important points and draw attention to essential details. Underlining can be used to highlight keywords or create visual hierarchy within the text. Furthermore, utilizing a variety of font sizes, colors, and styles can bring dynamism and visual interest to our slides. Well-chosen fonts can convey a particular mood or evoke a desired emotional response. Consistency in font usage throughout the presentation also adds a professional touch. Ultimately, text styling allows us to create a cohesive and engaging visual narrative that enhances the overall impact of our message. It helps to capture and maintain the attention of our audience making the information more memorable and compelling. So, let's not underestimate the power of text styling in PowerPoint presentations and harness its potential to create captivating and effective communication.
Now I think I should add some icons and navigational widget at the bottom leading to specific slides. This makes the presentation more interactive and dynamic. Insert the circles and zoom in the slides so that you can align the icons within the circles easily. You can also use icons from open source libraries or paid ones depending upon your budget. I am using the Office 365 icons library. Well, everything is all set. This right green box is empty. Let's add important text or description here. I am using dummy text here. While adding text ensure that the text is less, readable on slideshow mode and it should be meaningful. You can also add bullet points if needed. Let's add some shapes for refining the aesthetics. Adding small elements add to the beauty of the presentation slide. So the design is complete. I have created different colored variations of the same slide. Here is the final output. Hope you liked it. If you need the presentation template, check out the link in the video description. Also, please subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends, students and teams, so that they can also be benefited with it. Let's meet you in the our next video. Take care.